What is happening, my YouTube peeps? Looking at 19 year old Brandon Wells. He's going to be competing in the 2012 NGA Mr. California, there in Folsom, California. It's his first competition, and he's going to look great for it. He started dieting January 21st, so it's been about three weeks, guys. And his weight right now, it's about 154.4 in this video. It's now a few days later, and he's down by about you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 pounds since then. Current carbs, actually, let's we'll start off with his current macros. We, we started him off at about 60 grams of fat, 300 carb, 185 protein. Uh, two weeks later, we bumped up his carbs to 325, and that's with a refeed day with uh, five less fat, 100 more carbs, and about 20 less protein. And a week after that, which is today, bumping up his refi day to 535 carbs and regular days to 4, I'm sorry, 335 carbs. So a regular day for him, guys, it's about 60 grams of fat, 335 carbs, and 185 grams of protein. If you're wondering what kind of training he's doing, same thing as me pretty much, the Jim Wendler 531. Basically the same method that I'm doing it, uh, except for him, we're, we're not doing, you know, the one rep maxes since, you know, he's not into powerlifting. I'm not forcing him to do any sort of powerlifting competitions or anything. So, so far, you know, went from 164 to 154 in about three weeks. And, of course, the first weigh-in, the 164 pounds, was after a, a giant binge because... Uh, he knew that he would have to start dieting, so he we went out and ate as much as he could. Uh, ate all of his favorite foods, gained a few pounds. So his actual beginning point was about 161 pounds, I would say. He's about 154 now, so seven pounds in, um, in about three weeks. So that's, that, that sounds great to me. And we're slowly up, we're upping his carbs, so getting him as much food as possible. He's got about 17 weeks left, which is plenty of time. Looking at his physique, you know, it's really not bad. I mean, it's really, it's a balanced physique for his overall development. Um, very, very balanced. I like that a lot. Um, his posing has come along really well. We've only had like one serious practice session in a room in my house. And we got a lot of work done. And this is pretty much our second kind of official practice session, although um, it wasn't that long. We just spent like five ten minutes in front of this mirror it's funny you know tons of people are looking over and they're just like what the f's going on here and me and him are just doing nothing uh, i think he's looking pretty good guys you can see we're having him <laughs> he's he's starting to tan you know a couple times three or four times a week now um getting exposed to that so he can get all tanned up and, you know, this is just personal preference, just wants to look good. And looking pretty good, I'd say. Strength is going up every single week, every month. He's been on the Wendler 531 with me and Mateo for maybe three or four months now. And, you know, just tons of progress. Even after three weeks of dieting, he still hit, you know, like a bench press PR the other day. Of, um, of 200 pounds for four or five reps, I believe. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I first uh, met him started, or when I first started working out with him, uh, I'm not even sure if he's able to hit like 185 once. So uh, definitely just a ton of progress. Planning on continually um, increasing his weights, all that good stuff. You know, he has a really nice back. No, looks really, really good. As soon as you know, a few you know, in a month or two, all of that, all of the fat around his belly, all the fat around his back, waist, it's gonna be gone. He's gonna have a really, really, really nice back in the V taper. It just it looks great. One thing we forgot right here is we weren't really spiking the the, the feet. I think we forgot about that. Oh, it's all good. Um, anyways, he's looking really, really great, and. In a couple weeks ago, he, he didn't have much uh, shoulder definition right here, but you could definitely see that he had plenty. 
as you can see right there. Plenty of shoulder definition. If anything, you know, you need to bring his elbows up a little higher in that pose. Other than that, looking great. And actually, here I walk away because some kids, uh, I saw them eyeing my squat rack. We were taking up two racks at the time. I saw them eyeing one of our squat racks. And I, I went over to them, I asked them, you know, like, hey guys, you guys trying to use one of these squat racks? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, go ahead, dude. We can uh, condense down to one rack. Because I, you know, figured that they were going to do squats. But anyways, I unload, you know, the freaking 300 pounds I have on it. Because I was doing, you know, 5 to 10. So I unload, you know, I think I had like 260 or 275 pounds on it. Unload it. Take all the way off. Load the weight back on the other rack. So that I can hit my sets. And then I see them do curls. And then I just laughed. <laughs> I just laughed to myself. So I got my squat rack taken so these guys can do curls. It's pretty embarrassing. It's pretty, uh, pretty lame. Anyways, guys, that was this video for today. Wish uh, Brandon a ton of luck. He's going to look great in 17 weeks.